What's going on guys? P. Will back here for another video. So you probably stumbled upon this video because you are signing up in the army and you see that your AIT might be at Fort Huachuca or you are PCSing to Fort Huachuca and you just want to find out more information. Either way, I'm going to give you a breakdown of Fort Huachuca and a little bit about what you can expect as a student and as permanent party at Fort Huachuca. Gonna break it down, housing, so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. A little background about me. So I went to Fort Huachuca for AIT. Uh, I got there in November of 2017, and then I left there in May of 2018. So I spent a good six months at Fort Huachuca. So I would say I'm pretty qualified to tell you you know, how it is there, what the vibe is, what some good spots to go to and what to stay away from. So if you are PCSing to Fort Huachuca, you're going to be in obviously in housing. Um, now, if you're a single soldier, not too many single soldier non-trainees go to Fort Huachuca and are gonna live in a barracks. But if you happen to be in that situation, I hear the barracks are pretty nice. I had never got to see them or go inside them or anything like that. But I hear they're like standard army barracks and if you are bringing your family or you are a family member, the housing, from what I've been told by people that live there, that the housing leaves some things to be desired. Um, not the best housing they've ever been in in the Army, not the worst housing they've ever been in the Army. I heard, or like obviously what you can see from the road, like driving by, they look kind of small um, compared to like houses at Fort Riley where I'm stationed, but they, they look nice but they're not massive by any means. They're, they're, I guess you would call it Adobe style, you know, Western style homes uh, out in the desert. So they're not great and they're not terrible. And if you are a student coming to Fort Huachuca, you're either going to, if you're uh, a golf or a fox or anything like that, you're going to live in Weinstein Village or Weinstein Village. Um, and it's, it's actually really nice. You're going to have a track um, it's the track is like the center of the village and then on either side you've got four, uh, two barracks buildings so four total and then on the at the head of it you've got your uh, battalion headquarters and your defect the Weinstein defect and then if you are living in Prosser Village I think that's how you say it, Prosser Village um, it's actually really nice. I don't think the inside of the barracks are as nice as Weinstein Village, but Prosser Village has like basketball courts. It's just a bunch of barracks like on either side and then in the center going down if you can, I'm gonna throw up pictures anyway, but you can probably get an idea. You've got like basketball courts, they've got volleyball courts. They've got a lot more stuff than the Weinstein people have, but I don't think your living situation, I think the inside, isn't as nice like I said, but I mean, it's AIT. You're not gonna be living in luxury either way. Now, the layout of Fort Huachuca, something a lot of people wanna know. You can kinda Google it and see, but I will throw up pictures, you know. The layout, it's very compact, which is great if you're an AIT student, uh, a student of any kind. Everything is, is within walking distance. You're going to be walking um, the PX, the commissary, uh, et cetera, all the, the army base stuff the bowling alley, the restaurant right there in the bowling alley, clothing and sales. Clothing and sales is a little bit off farther, but it's all still relatively close. Um, if you're in a car, it's literally there. everything, like the commissary, everything's together. Um, so yeah, it's very compact and small. You're not going to be spending a ton of money on gas or uh, if you want, you can definitely walk it. Like it's all within like a one, one mile of each other, I would say. Um, furthest apart, like the commissary PX, everything is right there together. The gyms are all right there, pretty close together. Uh, Barnes Fieldhouse is right there. So you're good, everything's nice and compact. Now, speaking of everything, the PX commissary and everything, I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown on all of those. So the PX, standard army PX, it's pretty nice. Um, they just did renovations on it back in May when I was there, so I'm sure that's complete now. Um, I know they have a Starbucks, Popeyes, Papa John's, and a Subway in the PX, and of course like your military tactical clothing store that every PX seems to have, a GNC, all of that stuff. Um, it's pretty pretty nice large, oh, barbershop of course, nice large PX, and then moving, it's like one street over, 
Uh, you've got your commissary, standard army commissary. It's pretty nice, pretty large. All the standard, standard, um, standard items. This is where I learned about the P the commissary sandwiches. They make a killer panini and sushi at the uh, commissary at Fort Huachuca. I don't know if, if it's all, it's pretty similar to what's at Fort Riley, but I guess that's where I first learned about it. So the commissary does make great food. For gyms, you're gonna have Eifler Gym. So students and PCS people, permanent party alike. Eifler Gym is where most of your AIT students are gonna be at. All of the students are pretty much gonna go to Eifler. They are allowed at Barnes Fieldhouse but you have to be in like green phase and once they're in green phase for the most part they're going to leave you alone so most of your students are at eifler and the eifler is over by the weinstein village that's where you're that's why your students are going to be there they can go there it's literally like a five minute walk from the weinstein village and then you've got barnes field house which is kind of in a cross section of the commissary and um the px it's got everything you need it's got like a bunch of different weight rooms. It's got, you know, your like a CrossFit room, a weightlifting room. It's got a pool. It's got all your cardio equipment you need. Uh, I that is my favorite, one of my favorite gyms I've seen in the army. I love Barnes Fieldhouse. It's got like a rugged feel to it. It's nice. Eifler is your smaller gym. There's like only like two rooms, two or three rooms in there. There is a basketball gym in there as well. So. Eifler is where your AIT students are going to be, and then Barnes Fieldhouse is where your permanent party hardcore lifters are going to be at. Uh, and then you've got two shopettes on Fort Huachuca. You've got your main shopette, which is right inside the Buffalo Soldiers Gate, I think is what it's called. It's right over there. It's as far, like as close to Weinstein Village that you can get in Prosser Village that you can get as a non-trainee. So like anywhere behind or into Weinstein Village, you are not allowed there as permanent party, but you are allowed there at the uh, shopette, which also has the gas station and a food court. It's it's a standard army shopette, but beware of you permanent party soldiers. Stay away from the students. Don't speak to them. Uh, you can get into some, I've heard stories of people getting in trouble talking to students. I don't know how true that is, but students will be at the shopette uh, right there. And then you've got another shopette, which is way out there. Like AIT students will not be there at all. I don't think they're not even allowed out there. It's way out past the other gate that I don't know the name of right now, but it's out there. That is your two shopettes. And then DFAC situation, the Weinstein, so Prosser Village and Weinstein Village will both, all this, all of the students will go to Weinstein Village. Non, um, I think non-students, soldiers are allowed at the DFAC, but that's like the only area. I'm, I'm not sure I saw non-students there. I don't really know the rules. You'll have to find out. Weinstein DFAC is pretty fire in my opinion. It's probably the best DFAC I've been to in the army. It's got a sandwich bar. It's got two lines. Mondays are Italian Mondays, Tuesdays, Taco Tuesdays, Wednesdays are wonton Wednesdays, and then Thursdays are like thyroid Thursdays, serve like burgers and stuff. And then Friday was fat boy Friday or something like that. Thursday and Friday, they, it's all junk, but for you healthy eaters out there, they do, they have a sandwich line just for sandwiches. You can get like tuna, all that stuff. Um, and then like fruits, uh, like two salad bars, uh, coffee, all of that kind of stuff. So it's a great defect. And then if you're like a Moss Tea or something or a permanent party soldier, you can go to the Thunderbird defect. Don't know anything about it. I heard it's not as good as the uh, Weinstein defect from the other soldiers, so I think that's why a lot of non-students come to the Weinstein uh, defect, because it is fire. As to what is surrounding Fort Huachuca, I hear a lot of people say like, oh, Fort Huachuca is in the middle of nowhere. Now, that's not necessarily the case. So Fort, you've got Fort Huachuca, and then right outside the gate, like the city that is Fort Huachuca is pretty much in is Sierra Vista. It's not really a city, I'd call it like a town. Like It's got everything you need, it's not, luxurious but it's not like trash like i think it's a pretty nice western city and then about 25 miles from the base you've got tombstone if you're into like western movies and stuff like that tombstone is the place to be uh, the movie tombstone or something like that was filmed there i'm not big into that kind of stuff um and then in the same realm of distance you've got bisbee and then 
past Sierra Vista in between, I believe it's like in between the distance of Bisbee and from Huachuca, you've got Huachuca City, which is not really a city. I drove through it. It was just kind of like a little, like there is a little strip there, but like a gas station, like that's what I stopped for. It wasn't much. The big cities, Tucson is about an hour and a half out. You can get to Tucson in about an hour and a half. And then Phoenix. Phoenix, if you Google Maps it, it's going to tell you like four and a half hours. That's the legal amount of time you can get to Phoenix from Fort Huachuca. You can get to Phoenix in like three, three and a half. So three, I would call it three hours. You've got Phoenix three hours away. You AIT students, you will be able to go to Tucson uh, in gold phase. You're, you're able to go to Tucson in gold phase. In, in green phase, you technically can go to Phoenix, but Phoenix is like, it's an all day drive. Not all day, but like the drive would take up like six hours of your day. So it's really no point in going to Phoenix. It, it, I don't know if the rules have changed. You used to get passes and stuff like that. Uh, 305th, or, uh, 305th Battalion, MI Battalion, they were not allowing any passes for students at all. Like you couldn't stay overnight anywhere. So there was no point at all to go to Phoenix because you would have like an hour to do whatever you wanted to do. So, but those are your, your big surrounding areas to go. And then you can also go to like the Grand Canyon if you want to take a weekend trip or like Indian reservations and stuff like that. Activities for soldiers to do on base, on or around base. So the big thing that especially AIT students do like the first, second weekend they get there is they go hiking. The, the views on Fort Huachuca are amazing. Uh, there's a like a mountain like right next to the post. It's huge, but it's beautiful. So a lot of people go hiking. Um, if you're into history, there's a lot of history, like I said, with Tombstone, uh, Native American, uh, reservations and all that kind of history. Uh, there is really good food in Sierra Vista. Go find um, the little sh the little hideouts, the little great. A lot of uh, students when I went through loved going to the Landmark Cafe and 143 Street Tacos. If you like Mexican food, Sierra Vista is the place to be. You're like, I don't know, like 10-ish miles from the border, Mexican border. Great food, like I said. Obstacle courses. There is an obstacle course right across from the 305th MI Battalion right across from the shop at area. And then I've been told, I've never seen it, there is another obstacle course I think you have to do for like schooling or something like that. I don't know if it's open to the public. Um, you've got Thunder Mountain Activity Center on post. That's where you've got like your, I think that's where you've got like your archery range and stuff like that, I'm not sure. Uh, you've got, a, of course, it's an army post. You've got your warrior zone. Big thing in Sierra Vista, for all you students, any soldiers out there that are into tattoos, if you're gonna get tattoos, go to my man Jared over at Black Rose Tattoos. Shout out to you, Jared. He uh, he did my wolf and my lion. All the guys at Black Rose are great, but Black Rose is definitely the place you wanna go for tattoos. As it goes for army stuff, so as you need to know, uh, your PT is gonna be a lot harder there for the first two weeks. You're at a higher elevation. It's like, I don't even remember the exact elevation. I'm just gonna ballpark it anywhere from in between 2,000 to like 15,000 elevation. I would say it's like seven, what is it? Seven. Yeah, it's like, we'll, we'll call it seven. Uh, the PT is harder, you're at a higher elevation. So give yourself about two weeks to uh, get adjusted, really get out there and run and push yourself. Um, you're, where you're going to take your PT test, I'm not sure about permanent party, but I'm sure most people will take your PT test. You're gonna take it at Apache Flats, well, your, especially your record PT test. You can take them other places, but you're you're going to take most of your PT tests at Apache Flats. The first like half mile, mile is straight downhill, so you're gonna get your best time there. Since it's harder to run, the Army kind of compensates you a little bit, gives you an easier PT test track. I got my best time there. I know my roommate Jones got his best time there. So I, a lot of people get their best times at Apache Flats. Things to know, Army stuff wise, especially you people that can drive, you permanent party soldiers. Uh, students march every morning and every afternoon at, on Hunt Road and Stein Street. So from any time from around seven to eight, uh, Hunt Road and Stein Street, you're gonna get stuck behind students. I don't even know, they were trying to pass a thing where they wouldn't even let cars there at that time, but just know over by the uh, MISC, is, uh, there's always gonna be students um, from seven to eight-ish, and then from like 1600-ish to 1800-ish, there's gonna be students up and down that road marching all the time. So it's best, if possible, to avoid 
Hunt Road and Stein Street. Uh, medical wise, uh, all you like your your quick clinic is called the MISC, the MI Student Clinic. That is where everybody's going. That's where you're going to go for like sick call and everything. I think regular that's where regular permanent party go for sick call as well. They don't do sick call at the hospital, which is Raymond Bliss uh, Hospital. So the uh, MI Student Clinic. My review on it, it's a it's a decent student clinic. Um, the ladies are either really nice to you and like you, or they don't like you so much because uh, you you pretty much have to follow the rules to a T, uh, and they're very strict. But they are nice ladies, um, and I never had any experiences at Raymond Bliss. Um, but yeah, dental I forget the name of the dental office, but dental on Fort Huachuca looked really clean, looked really nice. So uh, that is a squared away medical post for the most part M misc so that is a quick overview of the base i'm going to go through a few do's and don'ts what to know of the base so a you ait students coming to fort huachuca well going to fort huachuca what you need to know is that um you can't drive anywhere so you need to take the huachuca shuttle the Wachuca shuttle is two dollars. It'll take you anywhere on post. Uber is also allowed on post, but it's not gonna like take you from like um, the defac to the gym. Like you need to use the Wachuca shuttle. Um, Uber and Lyft are allowed on post to the smoke pit, and then we'll take you off post once you have privileges. Stay away from the smoke pit is my next tip. Nothing good happens at the smoke pit. Uh, just from walking by the smoke pit, I've got put on countless details and people get in trouble all the time at the smoke pit and it's always trash. Not a good place to be. You have to walk past the smoke pit to get to the uh, shop at. Just avoid it. Go around it. Stay away from the smoke pit, I'm telling you. Um, pizza does deliver on post. Uh, some of my favorite Sundays and I know Jones's favorite Sundays and weekends in general were getting uh, pizza delivered. And then... Uh, you should also know, like I said, but I'm going to reiterate, you have to walk everywhere unless you use the Wachuca shuttle. I actually kind of recommend it. Get out, walk the base, walk to the um, warrior zone, walk to the to the library, walk, which the library is really great, by the way, walk to the library, walk to the shop at, like, get out, help you get used to the altitude, get out and walk, get acclimated. Um, and there's a lot of little neat things on Fort Wachuca that you won't know unless you get out and walk and stay off the route you used to go to class, like go out and walk it. Uh, for you permanent party soldiers that are PCSing, uh, lots of Tradox soldiers, obviously. So st stay away from the Tradox soldiers. Uh, you are not allowed in the Weinstein Village, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, you're not allowed near the where the students live. Clarify, Weinstein Village is where the students live and everything like that. And uh, yeah, the students will be in PT belts, or at least they should be in PT belts if they're not in uniform at all times. If they're in civilian clothes, they will have their PT belts on. So if you're in the commissary and you see a student, you don't have to like get out of the way. Just don't go out of your way to speak to them or anything like that. You like you can, you know, like, hey, how you doing? But like, don't don't fraternize with them. Don't create conversation. Keep it moving. Let them do their thing. Let you do your own thing. And if you're a student, don't hassle the civilians or like other people in the. Don't hassle anybody. Don't speak to anybody unless you know them. Like they're your fellow student. That's a great way to get in trouble because I've seen it happen, and it's not a good time. You never know who you're talking to. Don't speak to anybody when you're out at the PX or the shop at or anything like that. So stay big. Big takeaway. AIT student, don't speak to non-AIT students. Permanent party soldiers, don't speak to the students. Don't speak to the students. Don't speak to the students. So yeah, that's a quick breakdown of Fort Huachuca. Uh, final thoughts, I loved Fort Huachuca. Even as an AIT student, I hated AIT, but I loved Fort Huachuca. Like if I could go back to Fort Huachuca, like if I do re-enlist, I definitely want to go back to Fort Huachuca. Like I love Fort Huachuca. And I'm not even like, I don't even necessarily like the desert. I just, that's how much I like Fort Huachuca. Uh, some people dislike it because like your big cities are like an, at least an hour and a half away, but if you're an outdoorsy person, you like going to the gym, you like nice gyms, you're the type of person I am, 
then you're going to like Fort Huachuca. Hope this quick breakdown helped you out. Yeah, if you're from Fort Huachuca or have been there, leave any tips down in the comment section below. Come on over to my Instagram and Snapchat. Links will be in the description. Hope you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one.